we're going to look at how to multiply proper fractions. As you hopefully remember from our work on the four operations, the most important thing, the thing, the main thing, the one thing that you need to remember about multiplication is it is about groups. It is about finding the value of groups of something. The only difference with fractions is the groups are smaller than one. There was three fifths of a cake left over from lunch. We ate half of what was left at tea time. What fraction of the whole cake did we eat at tea time? So we have a group which is three fifths of a whole. And that group, we want to find what half of that group is. So instead of finding multiples of a group bigger than one, we are finding less than one group. We're finding part of a group of a group which is smaller than one. So here's my cake in a model. Just as we did with normal multiplication, we use a rectangular array, except this time we have to divide it into parts to show that we're using less than the whole. And here are my three-fifths of leftover cake. I want to find half of these three-fifths, so I'm going to split my model in half this way. So I've got fifths going vertically and halves going horizontally. And I can see from where the shading overlaps that there are three out of ten parts which are going to be left over. Okay, that's the half that was eaten, so there's half left over. So half of three-fifths is three-tenths. Half of a group of three-fifths is three-tenths. To write this as a multiplication, we'd write it out like this. Three-fifths multiplied by one-half equals three-tenths. As you've probably noticed, if we multiply the numerators, 3 times 1, we get 3. And if we multiply the denominators, 5 times 2 equals 10. Unlike uh, addition and subtraction of fractions, when we have to find the common denominator first, this method, because it multiplies the denominators together, it does that job for us already. Let's look at another example. I have 3 eighths multiplied by 1 third. I am finding a third of a group, which is 3 eighths. So 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. And this answer needs to be simplified. So 3 is the highest common factor of 3 and 24. So I divide both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And this answer is now in its simplest terms. Let's work through one last example together. So, first we're going to multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 equals 6. 7 times 3 equals 21. This answer can be simplified as these are both multiples of 3. So 6 divided by 3 will be 2. And 21 divided by 3 will be 7. So my final answer in its simplest terms will be 2 sevenths.